What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're using some more Trick Room in Regulation D, but not just any Trick Room team. We are rocking out with a Weird Ear Trick Room team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Weird Ear is one of those Pokemon that I have not seen or have not used yet on the rank ladder so it should be fun brand new pokemon that was released in legends arceus which is psychic and normal plus i absolutely love his design just an absolute stellar looking deer right looking real dope but it does thrive in the trick room so i'm super excited to be using this pokemon but first pokemon for today's team preview is going to be the op pokemon in trick room that is going to be ursaluna with guts and the flame orb facade eq headlong rush protect probably the best moveset and best build for an ursaluna is this one right here we got Cresselia in our second slot, and since Regulation D came out, Cresselia really took over a top tier Trick Room setter. We got Levitate with the Culber Berry, Ice Beam, Trick Room, Dazzling Gleam, and Lunar Blessing for HP recovery. Third Pokemon is going to be Heatran. Heatran's stats and typing make it a top tier Pokemon. With Flash Fire and the Salt Vest, you really can't go wrong with this guy. He's got Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Terra Blast for its four moves. Urshifu, one of the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D, is making its way onto this team with Unseen Fist and a Mystic Water. Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Protect. This is getting real repetitive. You guys have seen this plenty of times on the rank ladder already. Amoongus is in our fifth slot as a nice support Pokemon plus a top tier Pokemon within the Trick Room. It can outspeed Pokemon in the Trick Room and put Pokemon to sleep left and right. It's got Rage Patter, Spore, Palm Puff, and Protect with Regenerator and the Citrus Berry as its item. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be the boy Weird Ear. Normal one Psychic Typing with Intimidate, which is an amazing ability, and the Mental Herb as item. It's got Psy Shield Bash as a stab move. It's got Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do more damage. And it's got Trick Room and Protect for its final two. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run out the code is that top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Weird Ear Regulation D team. Hopping into match number one, and we're going up against a weird team right here, right? They got Skelly Dirge, Collide Sire, Doc Spun, Sea Titan, Jump Bluff, and then I forget what this dog's name is. I really do. But I know it's from Gen 9. Again, weird team, but kind of scared of it. You guys know the deal. With weird teams, you always think that they have something or they're going to pull something out of nowhere and win the match. So I got to definitely watch out for it. I could go in with a nice, lovely weird here. Love this Pokemon. Let me see his stats. Plus, the shiny looks pretty cool. High attack stat, HP is through the roof at 210. Rather slow, which is great for this team, so I kind of like it. I'm going to go into that and Ursaluna. I think that could be really, really good, especially the Pokemon that they do have. We can really get ripping into it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So I'm going to go into them too. I am going to also bring Urshavu just for a nice little back end. And then last but not least, probably Crest, right? Or I can go Heatran. I mean, maybe not Heatran, or do I go Heatran? Heatran's eh. It's super effective onto a few, but then other than that, it really gets ripped. So, you know, I'm going to go into my girl, Cresselia, right here. Top tier, HP is through the roof. Can really take some shots as well. So, having that in the back end could be good, especially if, say, Weird Ear cannot get off Trick Room or if Trick Room ends. You know, we can always reset it. So, we'll see who they want to go into. I'm thinking of just protecting Ursaluna, sending off Trick Room, and then maybe like a Helping Hand EQ could definitely get the job done. But let's see who they go into. They go into Sea Titan and Skelly Skelly. Um, hmm. Weird Ear comes out here. Uh, Intimidate's gonna do nice work onto the Sea Titan, which is good. But Skelly is more of a special attacker. So I just feel as from here. Oh, I like this move though. Look at it. Cloaking itself in Psychic Energy. Use your slams to the target. This also boosts the defense stat. So that's a good move. We have the Fairy Terra. Um, hmm. Do I try Slice and Fairy? I'm thinking about it. Considering they could have a Ghost. Actually, we're normal. Ghost won't affect us. That's actually big time. That's actually big time coming in from Weird Deer. So yeah, I'm going to actually pop the Trick Room, and I'm just going to protect and have this, uh... And I'm just going to have this Trick Room go out. That's fine by me. So Skelly Dead is going to end up protecting. He might go after Ursaluna because we are part ground type. And I'm just going to protect here. Nice, lovely protect. And he's going to try to Ice Shard me down. Cool. So right now we're thriving. We got Trick Room out and about. I could start Headlong Rushing, which might be my play. Do I make it my play, or do I hard swap into the Crest and just start EQing? Because Guts is going to trigger... We're going to be able to do some crazy damage on these Pokemon. Or do I just keep Weird Ear out here and we have some fun with it? A lot of different options. I said we just keep Weird Ear out here. We have some fun with it. I'll head Long Rush. I'll get rid of Skelly Dirt here. No problem, right? Or do I go opposite with that? Do I go Side Shield Bash into you? Yeah, and Headlong Rush down you? 
could, we could. We could. Actually, we'll just facade. We'll just facade Sea Titan. Get off as much damage as I can. He's going to end up withdrawing Skeletor. So Skeletor gets to withdraw. Maybe he thinks I'm going into a grand move. And he, yeah, they think I'm going into a grand move into it, which is totally fine because I get to go into Weird Ear now. Ice Shard's going to fly here. Do a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. I'm fine with that. Facade now pops. I know Sea Titan is bulky on the defensive side, but still, Ursa Luna just rips into it. So see you later. Hot start for your boy on the rank ladder. Side Shield Bash is going to fly here. Weird Ear doing lovely damage and getting that defensive boost on top of that. So that's really big for us. That is really, really big. So I can side shield bash again and get rid of jump bluff, which is probably the play. And then just facade down that left side. But these two are really ripping, just tearing it up here, match number one. We're starting hot here. We're starting real hot for you guys. And that's this Pokemon's name, Mabostiff. I kind of forget what typing it is, but a nice, lovely Intimidate comes out here. You gotta go, kind sir. You're intimidating me? How dare you? How dare you? What typing are you? Straight dark. Nice, lovely dark typing. So I could terrestrialize you. If you're going to go into a dark move, I might as well terrestrialize you. We're going to go into the side shield bash, we're going to terrestrialize it, and we're just going to keep throwing facades. Facades does so much damage, so I'm all about it. So I'm going to terrestrialize just in case the dark move really wants to rip into me. Weird deer would not fare too, too well for that. And by the time Trick Room ends, we should have Urshifu, right? Yeah, we have Urshifu in the back end, so this is actually working out perfectly for us. Urshifu to come in here, clean up the rest of the battle. It's beautiful. Facade's going to pop. I know we're minus one, but still. Facade does a lot of damage. Side Shield Bash is going to fly here. It's not going to get rid of the Jump Love, but we are going to get yet another defensive boost. So he's going to go for the Crunch into the Weird Air slot, exactly why we Terrasalize into the Fairy type. And he's going to Strength Sap me and get some HP back. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. It's nothing crazy. I could help in hand this, but I might just swap my Ursaluna. I might just swap Ursa. Save it for later. Could potentially. How many turns are left in Trick Room? It's a real question. We gotta see. We got two, so we might as well use this turn. I mean, Facade will KO, and um, I could cancel that trick if I wanted to. But I guess I'll just keep getting defense boost. I'll make this thing bulky. I'll just Facade down my boss stiff, get rid of that thing. He ends up protecting. Okay, that's fine. Play it slow. We're still chilling here. We have Crest in the back end. We have, we have Urshifu. I might swap next turn. Depends what he goes into. Let's see. You see, there's no way strength's happening me again. We're getting another lovely defensive boost. We're not doing any crazy damage, but still. Weird Deer. Weird Deer came to play. Energy Ball is going to fire. That's going to actually chunk up some damage. Yeah. It did indeed chunk up some damage. It did indeed. Um, I'm thinking I'm just swapping our saloon here. I mean, honestly, we have one more turn left in Trick Room. If Ursaluna goes down, Ursaluna goes down. It's not that big of a deal. I say we just rip into Jump up a little bit here. And we just facade down the Mabossif slot. Oh, he's going to swap into Skelly Dirge. What am I doing? This was a ground move play all day. Why am I not headlong rushing this? He's swapping into Skelly Dirge. I really hope he doesn't, but that's going to be the play. No, he lands a double protect instead. Get on out my face with that. That is ridiculous. He's going to get rid of Ursaluna. I don't really mind that. I can reset the trick room if I want to. Or I can just go into Ursaluna and start throwing hands. The Weird Air is going to go for Side Shield Bash. Jump off, dodges it. That kind of hurts soul. And Dazzle Gleam is going to come out of here. Ursaluna is able to eat, which kind of sucks because we're just going to die in the burn. But, uh, yeah, I can now bring out Urshifu if I want to, which is probably more so my play. It's probably my play. Boss if a little scary. Um, we're playing this one slow. Could go into Crest instead. But uh, I think Urshifu might have to be the play. We have Aqua Jet, we got the close combat. What's your speed at? 149. I don't really like your speed. I don't really like your speed. I have helping hand, I have protect, I have all that stuff. Um I'm just gonna go on the crest. I think crest is gonna be my player. I can repop trick him with a weird ear. And I can really just start getting after it. So they still have Terra, which is kind of annoying. But I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna go into that and leave across the board. That's fine by me. I'll play it slow. You can have speed for a little bit, so sleep powder comes out here. Oh no. Hurt a soul here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone with that. This is a long match. I thought this one would be over by now. Our opponent's giving us a run for the money. Crunch is gonna come out here. We do have the lovely little Cobra Berry. Beautiful sight. And we're gonna be able to soak. 
So Sasha Shield Bash gonna come out here and do a little bit of damage. We are gonna just stack up on the defensive side. It's a weird here king to play. I don't want to swap him because his defense is so high. Um, hmm. I'm gonna pop the Trick Room. I'm gonna go Trick Room because Jump Bluff is gonna be the only Pokemon that really annoys us, right? So I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I am gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. Let's see what they end up doing. He's gonna strengths at me. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone here. Let me let me play. Let me play with the weird ear. Let me play with the weird ear. Crest, it's time to wake up. Oh, wait, why didn't wait? Why didn't Crest go to sleep? I'm a little confused here. Why Crest didn't go to sleep? Did he get sleep powder? Or did I just wake up like that? I guess I just woke up. Okay, Chris. I feel you. I see you. I understand. I get it. I'm going to help him hand Chris now, and I'm just going to go into a dash and gleam. I really want to ice beam, because jump off is just a problem, but still, we'll, we'll deal with it as time comes. So I go for the helping hand with the weird ear. Looking to do some nice damage with Chris. You actually outspeed me. That is... I'm so confused right now. I don't know if I'm watching something different. But I could have swore that the my boss stiff was slower than me in previous turns. Or faster than me in previous turns. I am so confused. But that's fine. We're going to bring out the boy, the one and only, Urshifu. And we're going to look to win this match. We are looking to win this match. So I could actually just go with the Surgeon Strikes here, which might have to be a call. A lot of helping hand Surgeon Strikes and go after Jump Bluff. I'm looking to do as much damage as I can to Jump Bluff. I need Jump Bluff off the field if we're going to win this match. So Weirdier is still here. It's minus two on attack. Psychic Fang is going to come out here, and that does like, a heaping amount of damage to me. A little bit too much. Surge Strike's going to fly here, and hopefully it's KOs. I think it can with the Helping Hand. It should be able to, which would be big time. Because at this point, at this point, I'm thinking of just protecting Urshifu. Taking off Trick Room and then kind of going from there, right? Hmm. Hmm. I think that's got to be my play, right? We got to take off Trick Room. Got Skelly Dirge in the back end. I was a little confused here. This match is coming down to it. I'm going to pop Trick Room. We're going to get rid of it. And I'm just going to protect you. I could Aqua Jet, but I think they still have Terra. Yep, they do still have Terror. So finally comes out here. Probably a nice, lovely little Grass Terror onto that Skelly Dirge. Skelly, Skelly. Yep. And we'll go from here. We shall go from here. So we'll see what they want to do here. We're protecting the Earth Street. We're canceling out the Trick Room. And we're going to roll off from here. So I can see him potentially double down into me. Yeah, options here. Definitely options. There's Psychic Fangs. Double down to Earth Street. That'd be awesome. That'd be lovely. Torch songs coming out here. So you should be able to eat this up weird here. Cool. Now this thing's boosted. Kind of annoying. Trick him now flies. Um I'm gonna have to get rid of my boss stuff here. With a nice lovely surgeon strike. Because I don't want to draw my defense, right? I really don't want to draw my defensive stat. So from here, I'm just gonna hit up you a little bit. And I'm just gonna pop a nice lovely surgeon strikes. I mean I could actually just I could actually just protect you. Because I want to try to save my helping hand for like a close combat. So I'm going to go into Surgeon Strikes. I'm going to hope Urshfu can eat up a shot. Or they go after Weirdier. We'll see. Such a good match. So Surgeon Strikes coming out here. We're going to finish off this Pokemon. And let's see what Skelly Dirge going for. Maybe a Terror Blast? Might be Terror Blasting me. Go to my Weirdier. Stick with my Weirdier. Stick with the Weirdier slot. Gene's coming in hot here. Gene's coming to play. Came to play. Alright, so from here, now we gotta go for a straight helping hand. And a close combat's our best bet. Can we KO with this? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Stab, base 120, helping hand boost, neutral. Go ahead, Urshfu. Show him what you got. Show him what you got. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go, yo. Huge round of applause for opponent. I really did not take that team seriously until they brought that jump bluff out. Then I really had to start thinking and making some plays. We made some really good plays there. Weird Deer clutching up, staying in the whole battle. We start off 1-0.
what a match to get this video started. Like I said, I did not take that team too seriously until about like 65% of the way through the battle. Then I was like, wait a minute, we're going to lose this match. Then I started putting some things together, putting the pieces together, making some good calls, and we end up winning it. I, I was pretty... I was like 99% sure we won the match 50% of the way through. So I kind of gave up and was just playing easy. But that just goes to show, never slow down your battles. Never slow down. Turn up the gas and keep keep going until the match is over. But we're hopping into our second match. We're going up against a really tough team right here. I know they got the, the what's it called? The Tornadus with Taunt. So I might want to go into Weird Air turn 1 here. Just so I can uh, block the Taunt. But uh, Trick Room's going to be our best friend. We have to pull it off. We have to get after it. Um, I could go Ursula and I could go Amoongus and just Rage Powder out. Just so we can guarantee getting off Trick Room and then maybe bring out Pokemon like Ursaluna or something like that onto the field. Because, oh, dude, first turn priority is going to be a problem. What's your Terror type, Ursa? It's normal, right? It's normal, which is, it's going to be okay. I mean, Urshifu's a problem. First turn priority, problem. It's all just a problem. We have problems with it. Um, I'm going to go Moongus here. I'm going to guarantee myself getting off Trick Room. Go Ursaluna and Urshifu in the back end. I like it. I can get down with that. I get down. But this one's going to be tough. This team right here is top tier. Like, this is the meta game at the moment. So, I'm going to try to figure out ways around it. Maybe I should have went Ursa, Luna, and Cresselia maybe to get off Trick Room. But again, Taunt just seems like it could be a problem, especially out from Tornadus. So, having that Mental Herb on my Weird Deer could really come in clutch for us. We'll see how they want to play it. We shall see. They might just go in the first turn priority Pokemon, which is simply a problem. I know. They go Tornadus and Flutterman. Okay. The Tornadus and Flutter Flutter come out here. Um, that's not bad. I mean, Rage Powder's gonna be your friend. Intimidate's not gonna do anything up against these special attackers, and I think we just Rage Powder. Um, hmm. Post Synthesis can come out here. Is that Speed Boost? It's a special attack boost. Man, I wanted the Speed Boost. Uh, yeah, we need Trick Room out here. So I'm gonna Trick Room up. Uh, I think I just Rage Powder. I think I just Rage Powder. Nice, lovely Rage Powder. Just in case, like, a Shadow Ball comes out here or something. You never know. So we'll go into this Terror type. Or not Terror type. We'll just go Rage Powder here. And there's a Shadow Ball. So good thing with the Rage Powder was that. Uh, we'll see what they want to do to Amoongus. They might even just taunt my Amoongus. Oh, they go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Dodge it, Amoongus. Not weird here. Amoongus, I need you dodge that. If Amoongus dodged that, that would have been sweet. But from here, now we just bring out... Now we just get to bring out... What's it called? Ursa Luna, right? Yeah, we'll bring out Ursa Luna. We'll save the Urshfu for the back end. And I feel as from here, we might have to terrestrialize our, our Weird Ear again. I mean, Fairy Terra is pretty solid, especially up against what we're dealing with. So I'm just going to go into the Terra. I'm going to side shield bash. And I'm just going to facade down this Tornadus. I'm going to get rid of Tornadus here. I mean, this isn't going to get rid of it, but still. We could have just protected it, but I don't, I don't mind not having Guts. I don't mind it right now. Maybe we should just double down into... Into Flutter Main. But I, I feel as we're fine here, right? <clears throat> I feel as we're fine. So we're just going to Terra here. We're going to go into straight to Fairy. A little bit of Fairy action. Fairy's going to help us out here. A little bit of Fairy action. We need Weird here for a couple turns. We will get Defense Boost, which is good, especially from our Sideshow Bash. So I'm really... Because like, I'm confident in the back end, they have like Chen Pao and like Dragonite. All that good stuff. So some physical attackers. So Defense Boost is going to be your friend. So he ends up taunting. That's totally fine. We're attacking anyway. I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit. And I have a mental herb anyway. So I can, I can just shake it off. So facade popping out here. How much damage are we doing? We're doing about half. Guts would have definitely tore that up. And he's going to bury up. So Barry comes out here. He kind of just wastes his turn with a taunt, which is good for us. And we're going to go into a side shield bash. Bang. Doing some nice damage. Halfing that up, which is awesome. And more importantly, getting that defense boost. So show me Shadow Ball. No, he sticks with the gleam. Goes with the gleam. So burns trigger here. And, uh... Hmm, this is where I wish I had, like, Psychic Terrain. And I'm gonna Side Shield Bash you down and finish off you, and then I'm just gonna sit here and Facade down Tornadus. So, Flutter Main ends up protecting. That's fine by me. Nothing crazy. We're gonna get rid of Tornadus, unless he's gonna taunt me again. And no, he's just gonna drop out into this. And then we're just gonna get rid of you. So we still have Urshfu in the back end. This is a solid match, but I don't know how it's gonna... I don't know how it's gonna pan out. Do not know. Side Shield Bash is gonna get blocked. Uh, they're gonna bring out a Pokemon with first turn priority. Probably Chen Pao. I think Shen Pao will come out here before Dragonite. Or they might go in the Dragonite and then swap Fluttermane for Shen Pao just for some big time damage. But I might go into EQ. No, we can't go into EQ. But there's Dragonite. 
We could go into EQ. We could if we wanted to. But now nah, I'm going to just stick with the Sideshow Bash in that slot. Actually, you could 100% swap. I'm going to protect. Maybe he might he might terrestrialize. I'm going to protect Weird here. I'm going to go into an EQ. That's going to be my play. He might sw I think he might swap Fluttermane for Shen Pao. No, he doesn't. That's fine. No Terra comes out here anyway. So we'll see what they want to do here. Aqua Jet's going to fly here. Oh, can we eat that? We can eat that. That's big time. That's a big time meetup. Wow, so we could have actually just got some work done here. Put myself in a rough position. At least we're going to survive this turn and force them to go into like an Aqua Jet or something. Maybe. I end up EQ, and that was just in case the swap or the Terra came out from Dragonite. But maybe I maybe I read too much into the play because I could have just side shield bash and facade that and take off the uh, multi scale and get a defensive boost on top of that. But Urshifu's the final Pokemon. No Shen Pao, so I just made a bad call there. And I think we just side shield bash here, right? We have to side shield bash and hmm. If I could get off a of facade, I would love to get off a of facade with Dragonite. I mean, we have Urshifu of our own. I mean, I might double down to Urshifu. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna double down to Urshifu. My heart, my soul. I mean, that's fine. That's fine, considering we were going after that thing with Weird Deer anyway. So they still have Terra. They still have Terra, and I think they're just reading out, trying to see what we have. So that was good attack. And this is coming down, though. The Trick Room is gone. That kind of does me a little bit better. I mean, I get to bring out Urshifu. Um, huh. What's the play here? What is the play here? Really want to take all multi scale, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect my Urshifu. Weird here is plus two on defense, but he crits through Resurgence Strikes, which is a problem. I'm going to protect my. I'm going to protect my Urshifu. And he's going to Terrasalize Urshifu. Maybe I shouldn't have protected there with Urshifu on the field, but yeah, he's going to Terrasalize just so. He won't be. He won't die out to this, but I think he's going to KO me anyway with Surgeon Strikes. So I protect you. So I'm saying the Dragon Knight's coming in here with E-Speed. No, you're gonna- are you doubling down into, into here? Certain Strikes and- are you doubling down to Weird Ear? That's so tough. That's tough. We were dead to just the Surgeon Strikes anyway, but we need to protect. The meta team's gonna take us out here. That's tough news. I don't think any- any plays could've won us this match here. Especially at the end. We were just trying stuff out, but GG Sword Opponent. They come in clutch, the two meta Pokemon come in the back end, Dragonite and and Urshfu. I'm still going to stay in here. I'm going to look for the KO here, but a yeah, chance to always over. He's going to Aqua Jet me down. Just even, I think he's choicing of that. He might be choicing that. My close combat comes out here. Can we KO with this? Oh, that would have been sweet. See, we should have helped in hand close combat that Urshfu last turn, and we would have won this match. That would have been awesome. We should have done it again. We should have done it again. This thing is choice banned into it. Hold up. Wait a minute. We have a shot here. We have a shot here? I don't think we have a shot here. Nah, because Aqua Jet's going to KO us now. Yeah, that's tough news. Because I was going to say, we can finish off Urshfu. We outspeed it. And Dragonite's doing like five damage. But yeah, it's not happening. I'm going to run this one. Leave my Urshfu alive. We're one and one. Let's go hop to that third and final battle. Grab you guys a winning record. Last match is here, and you guys know the deal. We're looking for that winning record. We're one and one going up against a Shen Pal team with Talonflame, who I haven't seen much in Regulation D. They're also rocking out with Lando, Golden Go, Fluttermane, and Iron Hands. <clears throat> who should I go into? I'm thinking Trick Room, right? <laughs> I feel like we have to go Trick Room. This team is based on Trick Room, so Trick Room is always a good option. I mean, they probably have Taunt with Talonflame. A little bit of an issue. Um, Lando could come out here, so going into... Maybe Crest would be a good call. Alongside with maybe Ursa Luna. I could definitely get that with that. We have the Cobra Berry. We have a lot to kind of get after. So I'm really liking these two. We might just protect Ursa Luna at this point. But a lot of people can read it. I mean, we go into Urshfu and then Weird Ear in the back end. And just say, hey, yo, no, no Heatran today. I think that's cool. I could definitely get down with that. I like it. I want to use Heatran, but it's just like, dude, how often do we use Weird Deer? Never. This will probably be like one of the last times we use Weird Deer <laughs> for a while. So I really want to get, I want to get some value out of it. I want to use Weird Deer up. 
Such a such a cool Pokemon. I love its antlers. Its antlers look sick. I feel like all the Hisuian Pokemon that they added were just awesome. But they end up going Lando with Shen Pao. Slight issue here. We don't like this. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So attack gets dropped. Intimidate's doing me a little dirty. I could hard swap into say Weird Ear. I mean Weird Ear's not bad. But I still feel as we're fine. So I'm gonna go into the trick room. Pop it up. And I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna protect you. Could go ice spin or rock slide. I'm just protecting Ursula. I want the guts to pop. I need that damage boost. I need the lovely damage boost. He's gonna U-turn out here. Deal some nice damage. And please go for an ice spinner into my into my Ursa Luna. So that's a smart little U-turn there. He might hop back in here soon. And let's see what Shen Pao's gonna do here. Iron Hands comes out here. So the Iron Hands. The Iron Hands comes out here. And he's gonna Ice Spinner into Crest. Reading the Protect. And I survive all day, baby. That's why Crest is where it's at. So now he's gonna fake me out. I wonder who he's actually gonna fake out. I think I might just Terrasalize Ursula in here. Take off Focus Sash with Crest. I could go for a Lunar Blessing, but kind of want that thing to drop out here. I'm gonna Terrasalize an EQ if I can. The reason I want Terrasalize is I'm not taking an Ice move. So yeah, we'll Terrasalize here. I mean, he might go back into Lando soon. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. So I Terrasalize into the man, the myth, the legend, Ursa Luna coming out here. Running up. Fake Out's gonna go in the crest. That's super surprising here. And EQ's gonna be able to fly. Let it fly. Let it fly, Ursa Luna. We got the EQ's here, doing some big time damage. And Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. So good terror from us. Um, I feel as he's gonna swap Iron Hands this time. And actually, he might just go into a Sucker Punch, which a little bit of an issue here. A little bit of an issue. But, you know, I'm going to go into you. And I'm going to Facade into the Iron Hand slot. And do I Aqua Jet? I mean, I am slower than Shen Pao, so going into the move like this is probably going to be better for us. You know, I'm just going to protect here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel out what he's going to do, and I'm just going to get rid of Shen Pao, because I don't feel like dealing with Shen Pao. Yep, there's a withdrawal on Iron Hands. He's going to go into his lovely little... Lando, and he's going to try to sucker punch my Ursula. Which is fine. Which is fine. This is totally fine. I'm cool with that. So I end up just protecting the Ursula because, again, sucker punch is probably coming out here, correct? That a correct statement, Jeans? It was not. Wow, I could have just facaded that slot. I could have just ripped into it. I could have just ripped into it. Okay, so I'm minus two. He's going to bring back out Iron Hands. I might hard swap. Do I hard swap here? I think I just stay in here. I mean, if you want to fake me out, you can fake me out. I might Surgeon Strikes the, the Lando slot. Lando's kind of annoying me at this point, right? Really annoying me. I'm sick of it. But if I Surgeon Strikes, crits just hit through and we're kind of thriving from there. So, you know, I'm going to go for Surgeon Strikes into you. And if I can get off a facade, I'd rather double down on Lando. I'm not too worried about Iron Hands. Actually, a little bit. I mean, Trick Room's here. But I can always Aqua Jet it, so. He's definitely faking out somebody. So I'm going to double down on Lando. Double down in, into Lando. We'll see. I think Lando goes... I, I don't know. Lando might be in between speeds of my Urshfu and my Ursula. The speed's a little bit of a... A little bit of... It's up in the air right now. Iron Hands is slow, too. Maybe we should have just Ursa Luna KO'd Iron Hands. But I think Iron Hands just fakes out, so I don't I don't really see it as a big threat. Yeah. So fix out my Ursh food. That's fine. Facades can come out here. How much damage are we doing with Facade? I know we're minus two. But still, we're Gut Stab and Terra. Oh. Hurts the soul that that thing KO. Ursh food's gonna flinch. He's gonna go for a U-turn and that's gonna not KO me. Burn might KO me. Burn might KO me. But I know I'm minus one. No minus one. He's gonna send out Town Flame. Okay. So burn is that KO on me? It does. Sadly it does. Super sad it does. So I think from here we just have to get rid of Iron Hands. I mean how many turns is left in Trick Room? I mean, can we KO with an Aqua Jet? Maybe. Possibly. Could be very cool. Could be very cool. We are slower than Talonflame right now, which is a huge plus. 
Intimidate comes out here. Um, we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Oh no, I do not want to run. I do not want to run. Um, I don't know what I should do here. This is real tough for us. I'm just going to protect you. And I'm going to get rid of Iron Hands. He might swap. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to swap talent, but he wants to intimidate again. That's fine. Surgeon Strikes is guaranteed crits. Protect comes out from you because I do think you go for a Wild Charge in that slot. No way you go for Drain Punch. Okay, Thunder Punch. Same thing. It's a good Protect on our end. I'm going to get a Defense Boost, which is huge, and we're going to KO you. So I could pop another Trick Room. Might be my play. Just go Trick Room and Aqua Jet. Because if I can trick him and take some speed, Defense Boost can be our best friend, and Weirdeer has a chance of clutching up. The Talon Flame comes back out here. We have to Aqua Jet you down. So I'm going to Aqua Jet you down, and I'm going to pop the Trick Room. I think Trick Room's going to be our best friend. So we're going to hope that Lando does not protect and we just kind of get rid of it, right? Which would be my, my best play. So they're going to Terrasalize Talon Flame. Probably Brave Bird down Urshfu, right? No, you Terrasalize. Ooh. Ooh. I don't understand that. Maybe looking to get off some big time damage here, but still, we're aqua jetting you. We're not playing around, and... Has gale wings. I was confused for a second. I was very confused of what was going on. Makes sense. I was confused. I was like, did I not click aqua jet? But now this is sitting. We're sitting top here. So that happens. Uh, Trick Room comes out and about. Um... Can Weirder clutch up? Wow, Gale Wings just won him the match. I was so confused. I was like, we win this all day. Who do I go after? Lando's hitting hard. I'm gonna go after Lando here. I need my defense boost. We're hoping he doesn't protect. The side shield bash lands. We get another defense boost, which is big, big time. So we're plus two on defense. How much damage is this talent flame really gonna do? I was so confused. I was like, why did that Talon Flame go first? I'm Aqua Jetting. And then uh, it came. And then I realized that. Brave Bird's going to fly here. How much damage is Brave Bird doing? We need a KO here. Can you KO Weird Ear? Weird Ear. Can you do it? Psychic Stab? Can you KO? I need him to KO here. KO. Win us a smash. Weird Ear. I mean, we get a defense boost. Can we eat up another Brave Bird? That's a real question. Plus three. Probably not, right? Man, man, that was that was such a close match. Really came down to the wire. Gale Wings honestly won him the match. That was such a good match. We go one and two for today's video. Wish I would have grabbed you guys a winner record, but just couldn't pull that off for you guys. Great set of matches for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record. First one in a while, but hey, we'll take that one on chin. It's no big deal. Uh, we went one and two. Played some great matches. First match came down to the wire. We made some great plays to win that. Second match, the meta game got the best of us. And then third and final match was this close. We lost to an ability on the Talon Flame. Such good matches from our opponents all around. But I'm really glad we got to showcase this team and use Weird Ear on the rank ladder. But guys, that is gonna be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Jeans community. You guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.